In the same vein, the recent appointment of former Cabinet Secretary Elu Dawalo as the Deputy Chief of Staff in charge of performance and delivery management may just have added to the long list of state officers in President William Ruto's administration, whose roles include overseeing performance of government ministries. That's right. Now, the same role is also performed by Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, Prime Cabinet Secretary Musali Mudavadi, and CS for Public Service Performance and Delivery Management Justice Muturi. As our political affairs correspondent Emmanuel To interrogates the justice justification and the possible confusion that could arise from the overlapping of roles. When he named his first cabinet 21 months ago, President William Ruto sought to remove any ambiguity in duties, mandates and job descriptions for his new officers. <laughs> During that address, the head of state went out of his way to outline the duties and responsibilities of his principal assistant regarding Gashagwa, one which was to be in charge of ministries to keep him busy. He will oversee the implementation of cabinet decisions across all ministries and departments. However, that same role was also passed down to the Prime Cabinet Secretary's office, whose primary role will be to oversee the implementation of cabinet decisions across all ministries and departments, as well as oversee the implementation of national government policies, programs and projects. In liaison with the Ministry responsible for interior and national coordination, oversee the implementation of national government policies, programs, and projects. Mudavadi's other roles include to facilitate interministerial coordination of cross-functional initiatives and programs, simply put, to be in charge of CSs. Parts of those roles are also being undertaken by the Ministry of Public Service, Performance and Delivery Management, headed by the Cabinet Secretary Justin Bidan Muturi. Muturi's key functions include overseeing performance of government ministries, departments and agencies in service delivery, and monitoring the implementation of government's priority programs and projects. And now the former CS for ICT, Elu Dowalo, will also get his share of overseeing performance of government ministries, departments and agencies in service delivery under his new role as the Deputy Chief of Staff in charge of performance and delivery management. The overlapping, closely linked responsibilities are also similar in the mandates in the public service sector where the Ministry of Public Service, the Office of the Head of Public Service and the Public Service Commission play similar roles, while CS Muturi is in charge of the general public service docket in the country by supporting, coordinating and facilitating performance management and measurement for effective service delivery in the country. The role of the Public Service Commission, which is majorly a recruitment body for public servants, also includes promotion of good governance and ensuring efficiency and effectiveness in the provision of quality services in the public sector. The head of public service, Felix Koske's duties, also include promotion of ethics, good governance, efficiency and effectiveness in the provision of public services through the deployment of right skills, values and leadership in the Kenyan public sector. The duplications come amidst calls to have the government walk the talk in reducing public expenditure. We are spending 1.1 trillion shillings every year to pay salaries and wages of the 2.4 of the 2.2 trillion we collect. It is way above what we should be spending. Our wage bill is 47% of our revenues. It should be 35% according to the law. Emmanuel Toro, Citizen TV, Nairobi.